Hello and good afternoon to you. My name is Kate Harries. I'm a therapist. I'm semi-retired and because I'm semi-retired I have time now to help the people of the world who maybe couldn't afford to pay my fees as a therapist. And because I'm semi-retired I have time to give t time to you, the world, and to help change your lives. Because, as far as I'm concerned, the whole world is in a mess. And we, the people, are suffering because of it. And we have little control of what goes on around us. But I want to give you control over your life. I will teach you how to have control over your life. I will teach you how to have control over your emotions. I will teach you how to be secure. But my talk today is mainly about relationships and also sex in relationships because my speciality as a counsellor is marriage guidance counselling although I am expert in any other field you can test me on anything unfortunately the one problem I have is that I never know when to shut up and another problem I have is not being able to concentrate on the subject that I'm talking about so don't let me go away from marriage guidance relationship guidance because a big percentage of us are in relationships. I've been in a relationship for 37 years. Before that, I had 55 lovers. Um, and I was one of the most insecure pe people on this planet. So I have had a bit of experience. And because of this experience, I can pass on to you what not to do and how to be a happy person by not making my mistakes. I can pass on to you positivity. I can tell you how to be happy. But let's go back to relationships. And the passion easily goes in a marriage, particularly these days when we have worry about money, worry about bringing our children up properly. Because to be a parent is one of the hardest jobs in the world. And to combine being a parent with being a good partner, a good housekeeper, a good wage earner, is very difficult. It means long hours. It means very hard work. I believe we're working harder now than we've ever done in one way or another. I know it's not as hard as when we went down the mines, but in one way it's harder. Anyway, to get back to relationships. So I want you to start working on your relationship. I want you to start working on your relationship by first of all analysing your relationship. When your partner is expected home and you're there waiting for them, do you get excited at the thought of seeing them? And if you don't, why not? You used to. We all loved our partners when we first met them. Well, not most of us did. Do you remember that feeling? When you were expecting your partner? And you felt as if your heart could burst? And you felt as if it was spring and the birds were singing? Such a buzz you had. And if you could bottle that feeling, you could sell it for billions. But unfortunately, not everybody has that feeling. I've had it, and I know what it's like. So, you've had it. I hope you've had it when you first met your partner. But where did it go? Why can't we recreate that? Why can't we have that feeling throughout our relationship? We can't have that feeling throughout a relationship because we're not trying to have that feeling. We're ignoring our relationship. Your partner should be your best friend. And the first thing you should do with a best friend is talk to them. How many of you talk to your partners? Really talk. How many of you have feel uneasy, uneasy because your sex life has slowed down or even stopped? How many of you won't even kiss your partner before you go to bed? Because you think your partner might think that will lead on to sex and you don't feel like sex because you're too tired. You've been working all day. You've just put the children to bed and you're tired. So there's no passion. So you feel uneasy. So if you don't kiss your partner, he's going to think or she's going to think, well, where's the affection in this relationship? Because you're frightened of affection. You're frightened the affection will turn to uh, sex. 
but the, so, but the affection has to come back. And if the affection is stopped because of the worry you have about your sex life, which you feel isn't working well, then you must talk to your partner. You must explain to your partner. You must tell your partner, I don't really feel passionate toward you anymore. When you walk through the door, I don't see this beautiful person who I fell madly in love with. I see bills and a ball and chain and responsibility. Because when I look at you, I see work. That could be the scenario you're in. Many of us are in that scenario. So we have to change it. Because your partner is picking up on all of this. And if you carry on the way you are, you'll be sleeping in separate beds. And you loved your partner at one time. And unless they've done some awful thing to stop that love, you can love them again. And you love them again because it's good for your relationship. Don't accept mediocre in your, in your relationship. So start working on your relationship. And the most important thing to do to work on a relationship is to talk to one another. And to talk to one another is very difficult these days. These days of computers and televisions. We go home and we completely opt out on the goggle box, the TV, which I will talk about on another day, because that is another subject, the TV. We don't sit around at the table and have a nice dinner together anymore. We have a dinner on our lap while we're watching the TV. So we go to bed and we haven't really said any words of consequence to one another. So you must alter that. And if you have children in the house who are over six, they pick up everything you're saying. So it's difficult to talk to your partner when the children are, are, are around. Because there are some sensitive issues that you need to talk to. But the children can't hear them. So it's more difficult. So you must go out with your partner at least once a week. Even if it's to go to the beach and look at the sea. Because you must talk to your partner. Tell your partner exactly how you feel. Your partner is your best friend. Don't forget that. And I want you to start working on that relationship of yours to get that best friend back. Because if you're not happy within your home and within your relationship, how can you be happy in anything else? And if you're in an unhappy relationship and you have children, the children will pick up on it. So think of the children. But having said that, don't stay in a, in a relationship because of the children. You're not doing the children any favours. Because the children are going to sense the antagonism between you and your partner. So think strongly about that. Obviously, the last resort is separation, because we all know the harm that separation does to children. Children need two parents, and even with two parents, to be a good parent is the hardest job in the world. And you must do that job properly. And I urge you, if you don't have children, think very seriously before you have them. Think seriously whether you have a secure enough relationship to bring children in. Don't have a child because you think it'll help the relationship. It won't. It's easier to finish work and go off to the pub or go off to the restaurant and have fun than to go home and, do, and change nappies. But that creature who wants attention 24 hours a day, I use the word creature lightly. I have three children myself, so I know what it is to be a parent. And I say again, it's the hardest job in the world. So, you have, you're considering your children, you're considering the welfare of your children, you're thinking, worrying about your children maybe, maybe one of your children is being bullied, 
That's another subject we will address. But what about your partner? Your partner needs attention. We all need attention. We're only children. And we must think of ourselves as children. We must reward ourselves as children. And we mustn't expect too much of ourselves. And we must love each other. We must love ourselves. And we must love our partners. And to love our partners, we must...